Good morning. Just thought we'd uh, show you what a day in the life looks like of running across America. Start our days, we wake up, we make coffee, make breakfast, brush our teeth with a bamboo toothbrush. We're using bamboo toothbrushes because they're 100% biodegradable and 100% organic. Oui, c'est beaucoup plus difficile que que c'était au au début, mais je pense que il reste que trois jours. It's super cold today, so it calls for some extra layers. A big part of this run has been doing it zero waste and living a zero waste lifestyle is really not that hard if you take it a step at a time. I'm taking this run across America one step at a time, one mile at a time. And I think that's a good metaphor to show that the world can live a zero waste lifestyle and that people can make the difference and make those simple switches to the reusable items as opposed to the plastic. Got to run now, big day ahead. It's a cold one. See you later. Probably about minus 15, but when you're driving at 40 miles an hour with your head out the window, it feels a bit colder. We've been living in this RV for the past four months. We call her Jenny. Let's check her out. This is the kitchen. This is where we do all our cooking. Fortunately, we had to winterize the RV, which means there's no running water because the pipes might freeze. We do all our shopping when it comes to produce and our uh, reusable nets, from fruits and vegetables to uh, nuts and dried fruits. A great substitute to plastic bags. We eat everything with our reusable cutlery. Uh, so they're all made out of bamboo and wood. We try to buy everything in bulk as much as we can. Unfortunately, when it comes to fruits and vegetables, a lot of times they'll come with a sticker that's always in plastic. And no matter how hard we try, even in organic farm markets, we'll always find fruits and vegetables with these stickers. We also are using bee wrap as a substitute to glad wrap. It's 100% um, organic, 100% sustainable. Everything that we buy, we try to either buy in glass or aluminum. Uh, because aluminum is 100% recyclable, it can be back on the shelf in 60 days. So, for example, things like beans, lentils, soups, um, very easy to make, especially when your RV is winterized. So when it comes to carbs, I eat a lot of pasta and rice. We're using this stasher bag to do all our bulk shopping in. So this is the rice I'm gonna eat for lunch. So this is how we're living a zero waste lifestyle on this run across America. Now we're gonna heat up some canned food, make some rice, mix that together. Uh, and that's usually what we eat for lunch and then I'm gonna go off and run some more. Mmm, delicious. When it comes to running a marathon a day, uh, drink a lot of water. To avoid using plastic, well, what I do on this trip is just refill this big container which has 15 liters of water, which fills about 30 of these reusable bottles and I'll finish this big tank of water in about three days. So all I have to do is just fill it up with city water. That way I avoid using 30 plastic bottles in three days. Just had lunch. I usually stop for about an hour in the middle of the day. I'm 12 miles down shooting for 24 today. I usually split my days in multiple segments of four to six miles. So today I did two segments of six mile runs. I'm doing one seven mile run right now and then I'm gonna finish off with a five mile run later tonight. But it's a little warmer right now, which is nice. See you in seven miles. Nineteen miles in. So these little breaks usually look like this. I just drink coffee, eat a banana or a snack, drink some water. Today is a little different in that it's just a running day, 
but a lot of the times I'll actually be reaching out to schools, the local press, politicians to try to set up a meeting. But yeah, today it's just a running day, so I'm enjoying these little moments and then I'm gonna go off and run the last five miles. Five last miles of the day. Straight shot down this road. See you guys later. Oh, hold up. Hello, how are you doing? Yeah. You guys doing alright? You guys are on the Hickoria Reservation right now. As long as you guys are outside of that fence, well, if you guys pass that fence, it will be trespassing. Okay, we're actually running a marathon today. Oh, okay. Um, Where'd you start? New York City. New York City. <laughs> Like old, man. Yeah, I know. I didn't choose the best time to do it. <laughs> Thank you, right? Okay, alright. Well, sorry about that. Thank you. Just got stopped by the cops. Usually get stopped by the cops uh, at least once a day. Long day. It's so cold out right now. Excited to get in the RV, grab some dinner, and get to bed. Really packed today, but we're lucky enough to have Hunter here with us for three weeks. Uh, to help us film, but most of the time it's really just Martin and I. It's not easy, there's a lot to do, um, but the evenings are usually our time to relax a little more. But after this, I'm gonna eat this bowl of pasta and head straight to bed. I haven't showered in about a week because we don't have a shower, there's no running water. That's about six marathons in seven days that I haven't showered, but it's part of uh, the life on the road. So that's what a day in the life of running across America looks like. We're doing it all again tomorrow. Alarm is set for 6.15. See you in the morning.